What's up guys, this is Louie, and today we are gonna be doing a video on how to downgrade your iPhone 4S, in this case from iOS 9.3.5 to, um, hmm, why is that volume HUD not going away? Okay, um, 9.3.5 to iOS 6.1.3. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to go into iTunes, and copy your ECID, like I did just there. Just click uh, this twice or three times and then you should get that. Then you're gonna wanna minimize iTunes. Then you're gonna open up this. I guess that sound thing is just gonna be there. Um, we'll just ignore this. Uh, also, your device needs to be jailbroken on 9.3.5. Uh, I have a video on my channel on how to do that if you don't know already. So, once you're jailbroken, your device is plugged in, you have your ECID, you're ready to begin. So you're gonna download this folder from the description and you're gonna open up this commands file. Now this is put together by iPodHacks142. Awesome guy, so shout out to him for making this easier on everybody. So I actually need to, um, I actually need to redo that because I need a fresh copy of the commands. So, because I already used this copy, so, so that's awkward. So I'm just gonna drag this to here. So, commands, you're gonna open this up and you're gonna replace this right here with your ECID. So there, that's my ECID. Hopefully that's blurred out. And then you're gonna wanna copy and paste this entire command. Now next, you're gonna to wanna to go into terminal. And in terminal, you want to navigate to the, the directory where you have all of these files. So the easiest way to do that is type cd space and then click on hold on this folder and just drag it into there. So that's a really handy trick. So then once you do that, you are gonna run the command. And once you do that, as you can see, we have created this file here, which is an shsh2 blob. So we're gonna name that blob.shsh2 just to make this easier on everyone for the next step. And there we go. And then we want to go back to our commands. And next to it, we have this command. So this is where you need to start using the phone. So we're gonna get the phone here. And obviously you're jailbroken. So you're gonna go into Cydia and you're gonna add this repository right here. I'll put it on screen right now, repo.teamstar.net. And that should remain on the screen for a bit if you need to type it. And you're gonna scroll down in his packages or just search Cydia for it. It's called, it's called KDFU app. So you're gonna install that. Uh, should be rather quick. Um, it will install Kloader, a bunch of other stuff. And this is gonna put your device into a sleep mode that allows it to be uh, kind of taken advantage of by, um, by iTunes, by Terminal, I guess. So this is obviously, Teamstar is the creator of Kloader, or used the, he created the version for, uh, for the jailbroken broke, devices. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish I am showing you this entire process. It's, I could have just installed the app before, but I wanted to show you what it would be like once you install it. So we are waiting. <laughs> okay, reloading data. And once this, you don't need to respring from this, which is nice because these devices are so slow. Uh, but once we do, Get this done. Come on. Come on, phone. It's a small app. Okay, I guess you're just gonna be sitting here for a bit till this is done. Okay, finally. So then you can just go to your home screen and there the app should be. So, this is important. So you're gonna click the first one, okay. Then you're gonna click this one and it's gonna say downloading. You need to wait till it finishes and it says downloaded. So it can take like 
30 seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on your internet connection. Uh, my internet's not great, but it actually goes, it went pretty quick. I did this before, earlier today. So it's downloading. Watch it take forever now. <laughs> okay, so it's done. And you're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna click this. Bye bye system. So it's gonna go bye bye any second here. And boom. Now you're gonna wait. Um, you're gonna wait a bit. And I think you press the power button. There it is. So I'm gonna place that down. The camera can still see it, just so you can keep an eye on that. And as you can see, iTunes is bouncing, which is what you want. iTunes thinks your phone's in recovery mode, um, which it is not. So what you wanna do here is, um, so you need to fill in the file name. So the name of ours is Blob. It's just super easy. I suggest you do the same. And then you're gonna copy and paste this entire thing. Copy it and run it. And this should work. Um, now, this next part might take a few minutes, but I'm actually gonna pick up this device here because the device is going to start to do some interesting things like turn green, which is awesome. That's how you know you're doing it right. Um, if it never turns green, you have messed up one of these steps. So as you can see, we have the iOS 6 uh, boot logo up right now. And the reason this works is because iOS 6 is actually still signed in an over the air update by Apple. Um, and so, also I'm having some sort of bug with my computer right now where the sound indicator does not go away. This literally just started happening right before I recorded the video, but I was like, whatever. <laughs> if it's distracting to you, it's distracting to you. I don't know what that is. So we're waiting. There's a lot of waiting involved because again, the device is not super quick, but this process right here is actually the same process that iTunes uses. So if you look right here, we're connected to Apple mobile device restore server. So like this is an official update, which the benefits of an official update are um, the phone could still be activated for cellular use. It is like your phone updated from iOS like 6.1 to 6.1.3. It's like, it's, it's as seamless as that. So your device should have no issues or weirdness or um, authentication issues. Everything should be in the clear, which is really cool about this downgrade. So as you can see in the terminal, the restore has succeeded. So now we're gonna wait and this should boot up into iOS 6.1.3 uh, any second here because we just, this should boot qu much quicker. Oh, we do have this final loading bar, I forgot about this. Um, this will sit here for a second, fill in. Um, but the restore has succeeded. So you can close terminal at this time. Um, you are effectively, effectively done. So you could even close iTunes because iTunes doesn't need to know about any of this. So iTunes is gone. Okay, it just vibrated. Here we go. Moment of truth. There it is, iPhone. So as you can see, this is the full version. Um, yes, I'm in the United States. Uh, yes, I can connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, so this ver this should work um, on like uh, any 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 32-bit device you have. So that's the iPhone 5 and lower, I believe. And yeah, so it, it does need to be on 9.3.5 or any other jailbreakable version, I suppose. Um, but as you can see, we did pass activation. So that is a big deal, which means, um, yeah, so I'm just setting this up the way I like to set it up. Um, I never sign in because I have so many phones now, there's no point. 
and don't send. And there you go. So now you have 6.1.3 uh, fully non-partitioned like Google or anything like that. And it can be used uh, as a phone again, if you want it to be. So there you have it, 6.1.3, 13 gigs free. This is a 16 gigabyte device. So there you go. That is how you downgrade an iPhone to 6.1.3. To join the video, uh, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.